Allogenic stem cell transplantation is definitely a, a curative uh, therapy uh, for many patients, especially uh, patients with resistant acute leukemia. However, we know that the allotransplant procedure may lead to different complications, more or less severe. Uh, an important group of complications is related to the uh, endothelial lesions, endothelial dysfunction. And that gives you a sort of a, a group of a very heterogeneous symptoms and syndromes. VOD is one of them when the target is a given uh, organ. Uh, but also TMA uh, is another uh, endothelial related complication. And there are many uh, others uh, like press syndrome, uh, capillary leak syndrome, uh, and so on. So when you consider uh, these uh, endothelial related complications, uh, the pathophysiology has been always very difficult to capture. However, recently we have seen some uh, important advances. We already know the VOD story and the importance of endothelial protection through defibrotide. Uh, which is used for the treatment of uh, severe venoocclusive disease. But now there is a lot of interest on uh, TMA, especially uh, with, the, uh, with a better understanding of the role of the complement uh, cascade uh, in this complication. And now uh, novel agents targeting the complement cascade are likely to provide uh, really uh, some important uh, solutions or options for uh, this relatively frequent complications, quite annoying uh, in general when it comes to managing uh, allogenic stem cell transplant patients. So overall, I would say that even for the rare, relatively less known uh, endothelial related complications, the field is moving very nicely and we will see more and more exciting data uh, in the near future.